Good morning, Hockadaisies. This is Mrs. Hunter, and today we're going to talk about how to use a compass for constructing circles. What you see in front of you are two types of compasses, uh, plus a pencil, and of course, some white paper. And these are the tools that we're going to be using in class. What you need to know is this is a basically a ruler type um, compass and it has a disc and you're going to need a pencil that is relatively sharp and then you also have your typical type of compass which is a drafting compass and it has an anchor and a small little pencil um, it could be a regular size pencil but normally it's a small pencil also with a, a good sharp sharpened edge and what we're going to do first is start with the traditional uh, drafting compass what you need to do, girls, and remember is that this anchor does exactly what it's defined to do, and that is to hold the paper still <clears throat> or hold something down. And in this case, it's going to be the paper. The lead has to be on the actual paper, and you see that I'm holding it at an angle. I'm not holding it straight up. I'm holding it at an angle because that's going to give you a little bit more leverage and control of your paper. And instead of twisting and turning the compass, we're not going to do that. We're actually going to turn the paper. So this is what you do. You're going to place the anchor on the paper to hold it down. Place your compass at about a 45 degree angle and making sure that the pencil lead is on the paper. And instead of turning the actual compass, you're going to turn the paper. And as you turn the paper, you see that you are making a beautiful circle. Okay? That's how you use the traditional drafting compass. Now, the ruler type compass is a little different. You can actually adjust the radius or the diameter of the circle using this little lever here that goes back and forth. And then you also have a little round piece that is a disc and it actually swivels. So this is the part that is going to actually uh, show you your center point for your, for your circle. So if we make a little center point, we're going to place the disc over the center point and we are going to have to press down. We are going to be the anchor. Then we're going to place the pencil lead inside of the lever hole. And in this case, we do need to actually move the compass. My finger is down very tight on the ruler uh, compass. And I am going to swing around. I am moving my thumb so I can get all the way around. And I'm trying to match up the circle. The key here is you are the anchor, so you have to hold steel and you have to hold this little disc in place. But then we have a beautiful circle. I hope this helps. Remember, practice does make per does makes um, make perfect, and I want you guys to make sure you practice in class as well as after class. Let me know if you need to borrow the compass. Talk to you soon. Bye.